been helping Robert for a couple of years now. We've, we're kind of friends and um, if COVID wouldn't have come in, then I probably would have traveled with him last year and the year before, but um, because of the re restrictions with travel, it wasn't possible. So now it's possible and, uh, and, and we work together, but we're, you know, we're, <laughs> I'm not the rider. Robert's the rider. I just try and help a little bit if I can. And maybe sometimes when he have two Polish mechanics, it's nice for him to have somebody English speaking in the pits as well. I'm not really a member of the team. I go to the Grand Prix and I help Robert. We talk about a lot of things with his racing and his riding and his starting and um, He's, you know, he's a good kid, so he, he wants to learn. He wants to become a better speedway rider. And of course, for me, it's nice to be involved and it's nice that he wants to have some input from me. Well, I'm the team manager for Oxford in the Championship League in England. Um, but that's, you know, I'm, I can't be so committed to that. I have a job with one of my former sponsors. I work in the travel industry. Um, we look after some motorsport teams, uh, high level motorsport teams. Um, and Speedway's a hobby, but it's, it's my passion. It was my life. And um, it, like I said, it's nice that the young rider now still recognize the fact that I was okay as a rider and, and they like to listen to some advice. It's nice to be in Torren. My last, the last Speedway Grand Prix I raced in in 2012 was in Torren, and um, you know it was. It's it's good to be back here, but I'm I'm happy to be uh, this side of the fence and not on the track still. I, I will always love Speedway because it gave me, you know, it gave my family and myself the the opportunity to to have a good life and to travel and meet lots of great people so yeah of course I love Speedway.